good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It is another beautiful day. I appreciate y'all for watching. Guess what? It's Narina's birthday. And since it's Narina's birthday, guess what we're going to do for her birthday? We're going to go drifting. Her Z finally runs good. I finally got a diff in the 34, and guess what? Nothing but spur tires. Spurs. Nothing but spurs in the back. But before I do this, I remember the last time I ever went drifting or tried to go drifting like at a track, I didn't do my oil change. So my goofy ass, it's already almost nine o'clock, but we got some renewable lubricants, 2050. That's what I use in my car. So let's get the oil change done because last time I didn't do my oil change. And guess what? My RB blew because what? I didn't check my oil. Oil starved the engine. That was in the 33 and got this awesome can in filter this is what i use on my cars because it has a nut on the top and it's easy to remove so let's get to doing the oil change and everything to head out the cars are loaded and the birthday girl is ready uh oh uh oh i'll see how it's a beautiful day to come to the track and nobody's here guess what they told us they closed at 12 o'clock today and i'm like i called last week and I, they told me they were going to be open from eight to five but unfortunately, they found out today that they're going to leave at 12 because it's the holiday season. And I'm like, great. At least we drove an hour and 30 minutes to come see an empty track. But they are open Saturday. So, Joe, we really drove up here. I'm sad. Really drove up here. should have woke up earlier. Even if we woke up earlier and got here at 10, it will be two hours of driving. Well, on Saturday. Paid for that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's okay, just a little bit of gas. We're gonna figure out. We're coming back Saturday. There is a silver lining to this story. Narina, uh, the, the dude who actually owns the track said we could leave the car here, so we're gonna tuck it away in the back somewhere. Isn't that exciting, Narina? Yeah. I'm glad we can just drive up together. Yes. So now we'll tuck the car away and come back Saturday. Cut to Saturday. We back people, and guess what? It's 8.09. Matthew's here. What's up? Ryan's here. Say what's up to the vlog, Ryan. Yeah. That's right. And guess what? No more excuses. They said they, they said the track was open. He bought the truck. We got plenty of tires, cones. Not that I probably don't need these tires, but we got cones, tires, everything, oil. There's an auto zone down the street from there. Marina's here. We got snacks, everything. So let's go back to the track. Yeah. So we're here. Narina's here. The cars are here. Mr. Taka out here. Legendary FD driver and Japanese driver. Clean 8-6. It's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a fun day. Getting the bases down, Narina. That's good. Do what they're doing. That, there you go, Narina. You're literally getting a free, like what he's. Getting a free lesson. Right? I'm gonna go boo boo. So we made it to balcony. Um, Taka's here teaching a class today, so we're gonna share the track, which should be fine. Um, it's pretty cool. I caught him here today because I ha uh, haven't. I've been thinking about taking this class for a while, so I feel kind of lucky to be watching and um, kind of getting like a free lesson. Uh, I just want to nail down like initiating and figure eights and all that today because I feel like I'm not super smooth with my transitions and that's that's really just all I want to get better so I can take that and go to a real track and not just like a, a skid pack. Gary uh, went to check if see if any of the other trucks are open for us to drive just for the time being while they're learning. <laughs> I, 
I think you're ready, dude. I just, just fucking do the whole thing. <laughs> just stop. Just do the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I should have set up the GoPro, but I'll, I'll do it when I get tired. We'll le we're learning. Yeah, we can set the Write GoPro that on, the, down. on the clips. Oh. So if you notice, like I'm trying to drive coming the opposite way so I can feel what it's like driving that way. Yeah. So the thing is, I see why I need a bucket seat because I'm moving. Around. I know. That's key, dude. We'll, we'll put the bridge on soon for sure. You want to give it a go? Yeah, sure. That tip shit, you're going to get lost in your head. Yeah, just so start at one spot, straight, initiate, and that's it. My goal is to try to complete the bank. And then we'll connect everything else later. But just start, initiate, bank. You got this, baby. You got this. Yeah. Right? That this at this point, you know what it feel like. <laughs> you know what it feel like. Stop. Just rev it up. Turn and kick, clutch kick. You gotta commit. You gotta commit. Do it again. Do it from that side. throttle through it or just get off the like once you feel it snap remember once you get off the gas the car is automatically going to grip up when in doubt throttle out <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt throttle out um start start back there to pick up speed you're still like not high in the rpm and you're not at the top of second okay. like it really needs to be like ah, like holding it a second and then boom initiate you got this baby 
You got this. Look at you. Look at you, dirty. <laughs> Yeah. Lean out here. <laughs> it's okay. Drive it off, baby. <laughs> I, I need a break. <laughs> All right, take a break. We're gonna take take five. Here, Hannah. Take five. Lena, here. Go, here's some water. Go get some orange slices. Okay. <laughs> you did good. You did good. Do I get a please? No. Yeah, All right. So right now, Matt is doing a little cool down lap right now because I had to go pee pee. So he's going to come back around, hit the thing, and go around this corner. This thing is a cool down. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Look at correction. Look at this man. How you feeling? Feels good, feels good. It look, you look good. I saw you yeah. try to do a little linkage right there. Yeah, I was trying to. Uh, you guys go higher? You want us to go higher? Yeah, because I'm, I'm looking right at you guys and I don't want to overshoot it. Okay, cool. Yeah. We're making you nervous. That's all you have to say, champ. That's the one. Hill. Our shit's charged and ready to go. Wipe all this pit bike. What else would you have on the list? Walkie talkies. Walkie talkies so far. So next time we come here, only all new tires. This is a, we came on what we had. Yeah, and it was kind of last minute too. <laughs> yeah. Time to prepare, but so, bring what we have and then next one, all new tires. Big, you know what? Big shout out to Federal for helping us with what they could, but unfortunately they only had grippy boys. And you know, uh, I've heard that it's better to learn on, a, on one tire and be consistent with that one tire. True, true. <laughs> so I'll see if I can get a gang of 245 40s, and then we'll just pump them up to 40, 45. On the hard side? Yeah, on, the, on, the, um, on the seams. You know, uh, on that cone that you hit, too, there was water on it. Was it? It was wet, yeah. Well, well. Jeez, that's why it's overheated. Something's broken. Something's broken. Hopefully, I didn't cut. Which is it? The hose or the radiator? Damn it, man. I just gave my kid the radiator. You're telling me I cracked the radiator? Yeah, it's cracked. Yeah. Huh? I've got I've got well I've got one of two options. I've got triple A okay. and I've got Damn. My man's came through. Matt went back to the shop. As y'all can see. The radiator fluid ain't staying in because the radiator busted. All in all, it was a good day. I really appreciate AAA drivers that always are willing to go the extra mile to make sure my car gets on the goddamn flatbed. So kids, let this be a lesson. If you don't live too far from a track, at least within 100 miles, make sure you get 